Smoke golf is all the rage these days, and this definitely qualifies. We are smack in the heart of the state of Wisconsin, outside the town of Rome. And when in Rome these days, people are playing Sand Valley. It's the biggest course opening of the year, and a course that's emblematic of a major trend in the industry. We're gonna explore it today. The golden rule of golf design used to be three words, location, location, location. Now you could be almost anywhere, as long as you've got great land. Chicago businessman Mike Kaiser had already made his name with bucket list destinations like Bandon Dunes and Cabot Links. Now, presented with another dream property, he stepped aside and asked his son Michael Jr. to take control. The land they found was 10,000 rolling acres of what used to be a tree farm, a great sandy swatch for architects to do their work. The land was completely forested. Picture uh, red pine trees in rows five feet on center. Uh, so it was hard to see much, uh, except for on the roads. When we drove in, we drove through old logging roads uh, that were sand. Um, so we, we were able to get a sense of the rolling topography. The Kaisers turned to two of the most respected names in golf course architecture, Bill Coor and Ben Crenshaw. Yep, that Ben Crenshaw, the two-time Masters champ. He and his business partners are leading figures in this new golden age of minimalist design. To try to strive to, to mimic nature, that's what you try to do. And there are no straight lines in nature. Well, it's a curve of a bunker, it's a curve of a green, it's, it's an undulation. We truly do try to study the land and find interesting features and do as little as possible to that landscape to bring out a golf course. Our philosophy has been let the land dictate the design of the golf course. You know, we, we don't know all the answers at all. You know, we're, we're out there trying to get the very, very best we can out of a piece of property. You know, the first thing they do is listen to the landscape. Uh, and therefore, I, I think when you play different core Crenshaw designs, they all look completely different. They don't have a signature style uh, because they all sprout out of the local ground. There was one, one little line that Donald Ross had, design on land and not on paper. Perry Maxwell, I just thought he was fascinating, his observations, and one was, uh, if you do little things to the piece of land you've got, you said your golf course will be different than anyone else's. When you walk off the 18th green, you want to go immediately to the first tee and do it again. If we feel like they walk off of there thinking that they're the money that they spent to have that experience was worth it, then it's worth it to us. In the next two years, two more courses are set to open. It might feel like it's out in the middle of nowhere, but suddenly, this place is on the map. <laughs>